What is up YouTube long time? As you can see the reef looks a little different because uh, it is no longer in the 75. Looking at 120 now. Uh, uh, Ford breeder sump, 10 gallon ATO storage. So I have the Bashy 830 Twisted Skimmer, and thanks to thebluegold.com, uh, I recently won in one of his live auction raffles a Bash C Media Reactor, which I will put uh, bio pellets in once I get some more bio pellets, because I don't really have enough to run at the moment, and I need a hose barb to run off of my baffle to run it. So that will be getting hooked up in the coming weeks. But first I have a trip out east going out to Mechanicsville, Baltimore. Or Mechanicsville, Maryland, just outside Baltimore to assist in the SAE Mini Baja uh, competition out there. My brother is on a one of the teams. I was on one of the teams in 2002. But back to the tank. Uh, as you can maybe see, if you keep up with me, there's a few new pieces. Uh, actually, only a few. Uh, we have. I'm gonna have to deal with the blue here. It's not quite enough that the gel filters I have work. Uh, I have a new Rodactus. Uh, new Recordia, another new Recordia. Those green mushrooms I actually had in the 75, but they were buried in the back. But now they are out and about and multiplying like mad on that rock. Uh, I got the old Recordia there. Uh, grill nipples, neon trumpets. Jerk. Jerk clown. Oh, that purple and blue tip hammer. The Indonesian gold torch. Frog spawn. Uh, black color octa spawn. Yellow hammer. Green hammer. Got some. Oh, let me think. I always get these two mixed up. Now I can't think of either name, but a couple of different pallets there. Um, it can, it can, it can. I can actually ended up over there because it grew a couple of heads underneath the plug is on and sort of made itself a ball and got caught in the flow and today went. So I put it over there where it has a little more flow disruption. Uh, move this one over here. Um, uh, Micro Musa, you got the TBG, let's see, those are traffic lights, fire nice. On the back side over there, you can kind of see there are some Rastas. Uh, perhaps this I gotta get rid of, which for the most part I'll take care of. I just gotta pull a bunch. I got a lawnmower blending today for while I'm gone to keep some of the stuff that's still in here, like there. Uh, just get it cleaned up. Most of it is falling off rocks. I just haven't cleaned it at all and can't get to some of it. Uh, let's see, we got some more trumpets, more trumpets, more trumpets, hippo tang that eventually will come out. Uh, let's see, eagle eyes, some radioactive zoas down there, there, those are tubs of blues, uh, I do believe those are lunar, lunar eclipse, I don't know, there's, I've been, heard those, like, three different names, uh, we got some perfect rainbow pallies, some red hornets back there, uh, it's Aussie Orange Rain uh, Blastos, 
a Palygrandus, uh, it's a Force Fighter Digitata, which you can sort of see, except the camera just want to focus at this angle through the glass. Uh, the leather, the Andotti bag, awesome, awesome Mandarin. Uh, a new yellow tang. See back there's the Watchman Gobi. Last, uh, let's see, you got Bam Bams. Uh, I forget what those are. It's more of the neon or the uh, radioactives. That is a TBG Alien Inferno. Those are TBG Alien Eyes. Uh, want to say I forget. I forget what those are, and I forget what those are because they are relatively similar but have a lot of differences at the same time. One I believe is Armor Gods, and the other one I think is called Poinsettos. Uh, we got these here, which are uh, TBG. Uh, what was it? Speckled Mary Jean. And those that don't know the call name, uh, TBG is the Blue Glow. Uh, it's a local shop. Uh, he's been in the reefing business for 20-ish years. Uh, where I got about 99% of my corals. Uh, it's actually his multicolor war coral. I just want to focus. Sorry for the shakiness. Oh, we have a uh, Edward Chaos Morph there. We got the Jason Fox uh, Orange Violet Monopora, some more Blastos Roletti. Uh, it's a Tierra de Fuego Acro that doesn't have a name that I know of. We got a Millipora, some Bird's Nest, Duncan's. Uh, can't remember the exact name of that coral. Let's see. Uh, <sighs> Jason Fox, Utter Chaos, something. I want to say Parides, but I know that's not right. It's like Parisis or something like that. Uh, that is E. Hellfire something. Um, can't remember the name on that one either now. But that chalice actually needs to move. I will probably be moving it under that rock in the back there. Uh, we got the Dragon Soul, uh, this Raptor's Peace, Favia, yeah, Dragon Soul Favia, Raptor's Peace Favia, forgot the name of that Favia, because the name game is just ridiculous, um, oh yeah, up there we got, there's that, they're pissed off because they fell down here, um, that is Rainbow Sherbert, as it is. Oh, uh, we got a Tinia Chalice here. Uh, kind of pissed off and lightly damaged because when I went to pull it out of the tank to glue it to this rock, I dropped it there. And punctured the flesh with the skeleton, but it's healing up very well. Uh, I'm pretty sure in a couple more days that will hold on. That is the TBG Orange Swizzle. Uh, chalice. The, one of the two blood shrimp. The GSP back there. 
Uh, I plan on hopefully getting four or six barnacle bunnies to inhabit that area, which will be really cool when that Urcast decides to completely cover it. Uh, what else we got here? With the herb style overflow. Uh, my arm was just in the tank, so it overflowed a whole bunch, and then when I pulled my arm out, that's the difference. So, but whatever, it's fine. Five fish. My dotty back's kind of a jerk, and randomly he'll shoot up here and try to pick on it, but. They're getting along relatively decent otherwise. Um, there's a sand stifting star I just added. You can see the leg of a uh, the sand serpent star that's in there. Or the sea serpent star. Uh, as for down here. Oh, we have... This is the siphon line. It comes out at the gate valve to run the siphon. Uh, Stop it, camera. Uh, this runs into the refugium section, which overflows into the main drain section. Uh, this is set up so if I want to run a filter sock, I have a couple of supports in there with made of glass that I can just set it on. Usually I don't run mechanical filtration. I just use a cleanup crew in the sump itself to take care of all that stuff. Um, which there's a red eye reef crab in there, a bunch of snails, few other crabs, um, plus a ton of pods. Um, I have a, a Jabo uh, DCT 12,000 runs everything that runs over to my uh, reactor setup, which is the BRS dual reactor for GFO and carbon. Uh, I'll set another line up that will run back over in this direction to set up the bio pellets. And then we have the uh, skimmer line running, obviously, the skimmer. Uh, there's probably about 40 pounds of rival rock down here and about 100-ish in the tank itself. Uh, I need probe holders yet. Yeah, that's one of my next investments. Uh, what else do we got going in here? Got the high door ATO running, which is that sensor there. It's hanging up here, uh, which runs Tom's aqua lifter to keep it topped off. We'll show the well. GFO carbon, obviously. Uh, Yeah, so far I am really liking that high door ATO. It works great. I have it set so when I put the tank into uh, feeding standby, it actually turns the ATO off so the alarm doesn't go off because there's a couple of gallons of extra water in the sump um, with the reef keeper, which brings the operations over here. Oh. Yeah, and then it's on a couple extra minutes once the pump turns back on. It's a couple extra minutes before the ATO actually turns itself back on. <sighs> so it doesn't alarm out because there's still a little bit of extra water. So it gives a couple minutes there to just sort of level itself out. Oh, uh, we got RW15. WP25, I do want to get one more RW15 for this side, in which case the uh, WP may be coming out, or I will go RW8 on this side and leave WP, because uh, at the moment I can't run that WP in else mode, or stand from this side, ends up on this side. But I can run it on highest mode of the H1. Yeah, that's how the RW is set. That is the WP running full power on that DC.
As for dosing, uh, occasionally have to dose calcium. Other than that, everything stays really, really level. Um, magnesium wise, I've always been a little bit elevated in the tank. Takes about a month and a half, well, not in this tank, but in my reef. While well, it was still in the 75, I usually had pretty elevated magnesium. Uh, usually stayed right about 1500. After about a couple of months, it might drop down to. Wait, you. Knock it off. Yeah, you. Uh, it might drop down to like 1420. It takes forever for my magnesium to go down, and I'm not going to complain because that's the less I got to do. Uh, I have a lot of coral skeletons in here, so my calcium usually stays decently high. It takes about a month and a half for it to go from 470 down to 420. And then I'll add like 30 milliliters, and it'll stay about 450 for another while. But that is the update on the reef. I'll shoot an update on the planet tank here in probably a couple of days. Lights are still out on that.